Okay, a full strip down of a generic laptop. Fully working order. It's, uh, it's made by stone. It's not made by stone. It's, I think it's the, the casing you buy and then they put their own symbol on. So, quite tidy. The keys are but hired keys, you can see what I mean, they're sort of port portraying. So anyway, without wasting any more time, let's uh, take the battery out. Okay, you can see that, put that in. Hard drive. Okay, should just slide forward and then lift up. I don't know, I don't know what size that is. Anyway, then we'll take the screw that holds the CD ROM in. And this is the casing for the memory and for the Wi-Fi as well, I should be underneath this. This strip down should cover most laptops, in other words, like to get to keyboards, CD-ROMs, and anything else. Okay, so this has got the this has got fan, this has got the fan connected to it, so you can see that there. That's just a pull. Okay, and you've got the memory, so to get that you've got two slots here, so we just pin them back. That's your memory, and it's a two gig stick, it is. Okay, and then we're going to start undo the casing. The video lasts too long, I'll I will speed this up, but I said I would do. Someone's asked me to do a full breakdown, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, we've got some very small ones here, which will hold the casing on the inside as well. Off, so I thought well, they'll have to come off. And they look quite oh, good one. Okay, I shall carry on with this and get back to you when we've got all the screws out. Okay, all these screws here as well. These will hold the motherboard in place. We're taking the whole lot out, the motherboard, everything. Okay, I was going to keep going. Heat sink, this is for the chipset, and this is the heat sink and the fan unit, and this is for the processor. So we'll take that out as well. And these are actually spring loaded. So if you wanted to change the processor, you could do it this way. So this just turns up and then slides forward. This is your fan unit, it's quite clean as well. You can see down that, that's what gets blocked, and that can cause the processor there to overheat as well. So the processor is held in with like a screw lock, so you just turn that. There we go, anti clockwise, and out comes the processor. Okay, this is a dual core duo. I will pull this back together again. Um, okay, I shall now carry on with the, the smaller screws. We've got some at the back here, these small ones. These hold the, the bevel, which is just below the screen. If I look at screws.
some of the screws might not come out, so you'll have to just tip it, tip it up afterwards. There we go. It's done that. Okay. There you go. So this one here contains the uh, CD-ROM. So if you can just kind of slide, you just touch the back of the CD-ROM. There it comes. Look that. And tip it over. Any screws that you've left in should just pop out. There we go. I'm just going to check for any more screws. So we've got it all. So flip it over. And at the bevel, we should be able to peel this bevel away now. Right, the actual casing. Nice right, sliding your hands. Or you can got a parting tool you can use. I might have missed something. Ah, I have. I thought I had There's some clips there. That's them. So you just got three little clips, just push them forward. This is impressive, isn't it? <laughs> also, you got to look out for hidden screws. There's two, two here I've just found. So they're off. So I'm starting taking the bevel off now, which I'm working my way around slowly. So it's free there. There. Well, I've got one here which is giving me some stick. I'm not too sure what it is. So it might be. Can you see that? It might be underneath this. It's just trapped on the HDMI port. There's a port here. It's called the HDMI port. So I'll have a look at, look at that. Let's see how I'm figuring it out. Okay, that's not that wasn't a, a screw, it was just a clip. So you have to put the screwdriver just underneath here and ease the, the clip back. And now we're free on that. So, so we're still struggling with the bevel. Okay. Ah. Uh, Turn it back over and you've got to lift this little bevel up. That gets the keyboard. Five of these. Now the keyboard should lift forward, and then you get to the rigger. There we go. And then underneath here, you've got a ribbon, just a flathead screwdriver. You just push those two bats like that, and that releases the ribbon. Keyboard, giving you the access to the screws underneath. There you go, come back okay, in a minute. With the keyboard taken out now, it gives you access then to there's a couple of screws here which is holding this bevel down. So I'll do that. Some of these are pretty tight. Undo that. Check again. Go around the edge. So then we have to look underneath, and we've got a clip here, which is attached to. This is a microphone. So pulling forward, the thing off. Okay. We've got another clip which you have to get to now underneath. So. Pushing forward, you can 
if you can see this up there Oops. it's not doing anything actually it's just connected to nothing so I'm going to pull him out and that lets it fall forward and then on the inside of this we then have it looks like another if you can see that I'm not too sure that one does pull him out we've got another one here it comes apart and that's it so the mouse as well that, that just pulled out and that fits in there where does he go as well oh here this one so that leaves the motherboard which I have to get some more screws underneath now Okay, this ribbon here goes to the motherboard and that's for the sound and the USB on there. So I'll unclip that, just fold him back, fold him back out of the way and then we've got some baby screws on the motherboard. So they're all coming out, quite a few of these. You can't just stake it on here. I mean, if you're going to replace and, and put this all back together, then I'm not going to. But if you were, you'd take a photograph of each stage that you're doing. This is a PCMCIA slot, which has got a false card in it, so that comes out. That's an expansion slot. It's an old, oldy type. That's your battery. Let's have a look how we're going now. Okay. So we're not too far off, I don't think. That one here. So I'm just checking. So that looks like one unit, but it's, it's two units, but it's sort of stuck together. Sorry, my hands are right away, can't help it. There could be two screws underneath for that, so that frees that up. It's, everything's just gentle. Let's have a look. Just sliding forward. Remove from the slots. We've got a major connector here for the screen. So the heel come off. So we're going to flat headed screwdriver on that. Can you see what I'm doing? Yep. Just gently raise them apart. There we go. That's your screen disconnected. We've got two more. Gently raise them apart. That baby one there. That's him. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, now you got the board out. Just check underneath. So it might be a good idea just to gently flip him over on its back. As you can see. So maybe I should have took this out first. This is the Wi-Fi. So here. And these are just set of taped on so they can move them. And then the final one, I believe. Big connector here. And that's your motherboard out. Okay. Wi-Fi, these clips to pop off. And the rest of these wires will be connected to the power, the switch, and all the other, and we've got the screen to go as well. So there's a little screw stuff on there, magnet. If you can see the screen on the screen. Okay, and have little rubbers and they just pop off. Okay. So 
we've got four little poppers on the top, little rubbers on the top. And on the bottom here you've got two, you might need a very fine one for this, this is this one, two little, they're like hard plastic discs. Take them off. And that one. Have you seen me doing that? Yeah. So then we'll unscrew that. This is the bevel around the outside of the screen. They're all very similar like this. Sometimes they don't have any screws and you just have to prise the bezel from around the edge and then that will reveal screws holding the screen to the base plate. Okay. Sorry if it's a long video, but I said I'd do a full dismantle. So if you're changing a screen, this is what you'd have to do normally. You take these screws out. On this screen, you've got it's a little bit more. Um, usually, the speakers are situated here, but on this on this one, the speakers are situated actually on the screen itself. So if you then run your fingers or a parting tool. Pick him up, put him to one side, slide that back. Gentle but be firm. Put that screw out if I can. There should be a gap just underneath that. There we go. Still got a clip underneath. Oh, you monkey. Quite a few. He's got a clip still trapped there. the bevel off and then you're revealing the two speakers and then around the screen here so what you have to do to get the screen off now is undo the two top screws can you see that Ooh, can you yep so there's a little screw there one here screen should slide forward slightly leaving the bevel behind and then you undo these these have got four screws on it okay so when you have two side, lifting forward, just 
to three. You should release the screen. Four. And now it comes the screen. I'm just going to show you something on the screen as well. So, on the screen, on these, they've, they've put an extension ribbon on. So if you bought a screen for this, you so probably you have to be careful because you'll have to pull this tape off carefully. I'll show you. Okay. And this is depending on what it is, 40 or 50 pin. And then this just pops out. And then the same with the other side, just slide the tape off. So you need to keep this. So if you bust this screen, do not throw this ribbon away. Or you'd be paying a 12 to 15 pound for one of these ribbons as well. And then you'd replace this screen, which is a perfectly good screen anyway. Okay. And then what's left is whatever you want to do with it. You've got the speakers. This is the casing. So speaker here, speaker left, speaker right, which is connected to the little tiny amp box there. And then you've got your jack plug for your phone line, which I don't think they come with anymore, modem. Um, and that's about it really. Well done. If you like the video and it's been any help to you, you can take this out if you want to the sound. Um, you can subscribe, like, thumbs up, or totally ignore me. I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vid. All the best.